Come on, Cody. I'm waiting. Seems to be. Okay. I mean, it takes a little while. The camera, are you? Did... Oh. Come on. Chop, chop, Cody. Actually, did go. To recording? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Now it's your fault. Thank you. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. So we're back to doing a whiskey. Yep. Um, Breckenridge whiskey. We picked up in Colorado. Yeah, because Breckenridge is in Colorado. Yep. You know how I know that? Because you saw it on the map. I actually live there. Well, wow. you lived in Breckenridge? There. So, um, my high school is in Frisco that I graduated at, what, 30 years ago? <laughs> Almost 30 years ago. I'm really old. 35 years ago? You're old. Isn't there a Frisco here? Yes, but so. Um, it was the last century for sure. Yeah. So, about 35 years ago, so I've been told, I can't believe that's true. Um, I graduated high school from. Um, Summit County High School, which is in Frisco, Colorado. Um, but I don't know what happened to that school. The new school is in Breckenridge, but half my friends lived in Breckenridge. Went to Breckenridge all the time. It's only a few miles away. Um, so that whole area. And so now there's a little kind of distillery boom going on in uh, the mountains. And I actually work in Breckenridge for a spell too. A spell. Um, I don't know that we ever met when we were there together. Hmm? Did we ever meet each other when we were there? Yeah, you were a little snotty high school kid when I was there. <laughs> it was not a snotty little high school. As little as like a third, maybe even a fourth the size I am there. You were very stoit back then. Stoit. <laughs> very toit. <laughs> I wasn't Dutch. Huh? <laughs> I wasn't Dutch. <laughs> so we we went to Colorado to visit the folks um, who live in Denver, and we picked up quite a few um, Colorado and even a Wyoming um, distilled whiskey. And so this is the first one we're trying. Um, I love the bottle. I love this style bottle here. It's and if you're not familiar with. Colorado and stuff, Breckenridge, that's kind of up in the ski country. Yeah, in fact, they say it's uh, made from snow melt. Snow melt, yeah. So, so. If, so after they plow all the streets, they pick up that snow and they. <laughs> and you know what, Frank, you know so, what Frank Zampa used to say? Don't so, eat the yellow snow? Yeah, watch out where the huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? Yeah, so when the skiers gotta go real bad and then later that summer that gives it this that probably nice gives color. It that nice color yeah i'm sure breckenridge is not going to approve of this uh, <laughs> <laughs> alcohol kills it yeah but i love the color though i mean it's a nice yeah. dark golden uh almost uh what is it uh not amber it's darker than amber yeah Auburn color. Uh, I'll go with that. Okay. Long. It's almost an oak color. It's it's one of the darker whiskeys that we have. Have you had this yet? No, you just opened it. I know, I just opened this bottle. Did you try? I haven't tried it. No, I haven't either. So this is our first try. I know we tried some different stuff when we were in Colorado, but we didn't try this. Yeah. Um, so this is 43%, so that's an 86 proof. It's $38.99, it's kind of expensive, so that's going to be a two barrel, $38.99. Um, they do sell that here locally, I've seen it actually just down the street at our liquor Local store there. Place. Mm -hmm. And of course Breckenridge brags about it being made from snow melt. See, whiskey with snow melt from the Rocky Mountains. No yellow snow included. 
Because really, Huskies aren't really, it's more of a Alaska stuff. When we lived in Colorado for a spell, not in Breckenridge, but another place, we had a, like a Husky family. We had a Malamute. You know, it was Alaska Malamute. And that thing was, that, that, that dog treat us all the time. That was the meanest dog we ever had. That dog would not jump over the fence or dig under the fence. Go through it. It would just walk right through the fence. That dog. It's crazy. Beautiful dog, but treat us all the time. We all were right. scared for our life. Let's get back to her. Oh, look at this. Mr. Tangent is getting me back on track. I was going to say geese cause some... <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's look at aroma. Oh, this smells good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a little too much up the nose. Very aromatic. Yeah, you can smell the... Um, you can smell the char. And a little yeah. toffee. Or chocolate, toffee or chocolate. <laughs> or, or a dark fruit. I smell something... Yeah, I'm not... A little, little dark. I think it's toffee. I smell vanilla in there also. Mm, and I love vanilla, but not really picking that up. But I do smell the char. I'm gonna put this at a four a light. Yeah, I'm, I'm all, <coughs> I think I might go four and a half. This is 4.5 for Andy. And that leaves to... Junior behind the camera. I think three and a half. I get a little bit of a bitiness. Three and a half? Yeah, I'm not even smelling See, I'm not that. getting any of the... I've been alcohol. sticking my nose in there heavily and I'm not yeah. getting any well, of that. You're supposed to pour it. You're supposed to... All right, flavor. Mm. It's got some unique flavors to it. Yeah. But it's also got a little heat. It's got some a lot of tingling on your tongue mm -hmm. going on there. So it's going to affect the bite. It's got a nice finish to it. Kind of can, a deep. Kind of takes the tannins. And kind of a deep finish, kind of like the oaky. Yeah, you can definitely taste that Almost oaky char. Almost like, like a cherry or something. Yeah, I can see that. So that's that dark fruit that I could smell. And if you've been watching, you've noticed now we're kind of like starting to discern other things. Yeah, we spent a few days uh, making our own essences and then going through them for over a couple of weeks. And that kind of, yeah, that kind of gave us a little more mm -hmm. of what it is. It's like, I'm torn. I think I'm going to have to do a three and a half on it for flavor. But I'm going to, might change my mind in yeah, just a second. I'm thinking. I'm already going to tell you the bite is three. That's me. I'm going to bite is three. Okay. So what I'd like to do is see if this changes the flavor. Because I'm like, I'm almost at a four with the flavor, but. Probably needed a couple more drops. I go three and a half on flavor and three on bite. So that's giving you nine, ten points, which is a three point, no, a two point five. No, twelve points. So that's a solid three for you. Did you hear the grinding of the ears? Definitely change the flavor. Yeah. 
I think I'm going to stay with 3.5. I, I, am, I am too. It's not quite a 4 for me, but it's good. Gives me a 12.5, which is still going to be a 3 barrel. It's just a hair above Cody. It's going to give you, though, 13 points. So a hair above 3. So it's still going to give you a 3 barrel. Right away, I'll tell you, I'd drink this straight. Maybe oh, yeah. with an ice to cool it, take away some of the heat. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I would not use it as a mixer, especially since it's 40 bucks. But straight for it's me. It's got a good flavor, yeah, I think. It's got a really good flavor. Straight or on the rocks just like yeah maybe those stones or something the thing I would like to try is like the like the ice balls or something that way you're not getting so much dilution it's mm -hmm. keeping it cold because I think with the ice stones that you got you're not getting that little bit of so the, diluted. Yeah, the ones I have are stainless steel stones, mm -hmm. and then they make like the soap stones, mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of back and forth on which is better. Because I think maybe with an ice ball that's actually ice, you get that little, little bit of water and water in there, and yeah. change. but no, it, it's, it's really good. good. I, I like it. And I'm glad for snowboarders piss. It's pretty. Snowboarders <laughs> piss. You and your little. So you need to redo the outro. No. You're not gonna. No. I don't know when it clicked off. Check it. It's all Maxie's fault. All right, so make sure you uh, check out the Twitter, hit the like and subscribe. I'm recording. It's so bad whiskey. Is that the last of them? Hey, be there. Okay. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe, check out the Twitter and the webpage. Tell your uh, friends. Tell your friends, um, share. And if you have any uh, suggestions, send it our way and we'll try to review them for you. And otherwise, remember there's no bad whiskey, there's only good whiskey and great whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. Later. Later. <laughs> Man, I hate that the camera messed up. All right. Shut her down. No other comedy gold moments? No. Don't have enough bloopers? No. I'm tired. <laughs>